Okay, so today I'm going to try and come up with a way to measure the battery's health over a long period of time because I want to monitor how well my batteries are doing and try and get an idea how long they're going to last. Okay, so it's nighttime, the sun has gone down, I've got zero amps coming in on the chargers, everything right now is running off the batteries. So what I want to do basically is record how much power I take out of the batteries overnight, so how many kilowatt hours I take out of the batteries, and then I'm going to record the state of charge drop, the, the amp hours drop, and the voltage drop. And so by doing this, I'm going to do this once a month, every month over the years, and what I want to see is how much the batteries drop versus how much power comes out. And what I would expect is over time that the batteries will drop more to get the same amount of kilowatt hours out as they you know, become less capable. All right, so let's get started. So now you can see I've got zero watts on L1 and L2. There's no load and we've got 51.31 volts on the battery, 97% state of charge, and minus 24 amp hours. So now we'll just let it run tonight. Do the same thing in the morning, get a good reading, and see what we get. Okay, it's morning. We've cut the load off, let the voltage settle, and we've spent uh, 1570 watt hours on L1, 2647 watt hours on L2, 83% state of charge, negative 122 amp hours, and 50.17 volts. Okay, so I don't have any results yet because we're just getting started, of course. Um, but I'm hoping to plot out over time the watt hours out versus amp hours out, uh, the watt hours out versus the state of charge, and the watt hours out versus the voltage drop. I, I don't think the amp hours it's going to tell us anything because that's basically an identity. And the uh, state of charge maybe, but I'm not sure how uh, Magnum calculates the state of charge or monitors it. And so we'll just have to see. And I think the best one is going to be the watt hours out versus the voltage drop of the batteries. But we're just going to have to see. Um, the main reason I wanted to show this now before I have the data is so that you guys watching who have similar systems, hopefully some of you will do the same kind of test. I mean, it, it might not pan out, but it wouldn't hurt to have the data. Um, if you're gonna do it, I think you should try and keep it, the test as uniform as possible will be the key. So apples to apples, right? From month to month, we're gonna wanna start with 100% charge every time. We're gonna wanna drain it the same amount every time. So if you're going to do 10 kilowatt hours out overnight, you kind of need to do the same thing month to month. Uh, I'd be careful about not using kilowatt hours. Um, use watt hours so you get a much better reading, more accurate. You need those decimal places. Um, don't have any load on the batteries when you're taking your voltage readings and let them settle out for a few minutes at least and just whatever else you can think of to try and keep the uh, the data as clean as possible and then uh, we'll get together down the road and compare notes so thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one